All right, guys, so tonight I'm doing something a little bit different, something I haven't really done before. Um, I'm actually out here night cruising for salamanders. Now, we got a ton of rain today. It basically rained all day long, and uh, the snow has been melting, so it's super damp, and it's also pretty warm out. I think it's about 50 degrees, 55. So definitely pretty warm out. I'm really hoping it gets salamanders moving, and I'm really, really excited to see uh, what we could possibly find tonight. So I will let you guys know if anything happens. We actually have our first salamander of the night. Look at that, it's a little cave salamander. That is so sweet. I was not sure at all if this was gonna be a salamander. This guy is absolutely tiny. Look at this. We'll just leave him to it. We made sure he got off the road nice and uh, quickly here. I actually think I've only ever road cruised a salamander one other time, and it was actually a newt. So this is actually very, very cool. Um, hopefully we can actually get some more tonight, but very, very cool to see this guy just chilling uh, in the road. We got a stinky boy up here, look at that. Hey dude, should probably put my windows up. It's probably smart. No freaking way, dude. There's a, there's a two line salamander on the road, bro. I've, what the world? Dude, I gotta get out and see this. Look. All right, let's see what we got here. Look at that, dude, that is sick. That is a two line salamander, bro. That is awesome. Look at that bright tail. Hey buddy, what are you doing, dude? Definitely makes sense to be seeing this guy right here. Uh, this is the exact same area. I found the other salamander right up there. So, uh, very cool, definitely found a really good spot. So you can see right at the tip of his face, he's got a little appendage sticking out of there and uh, that identifies this guy as a male. Very, very cool. I'm gonna get this guy out of the road and uh, we'll see what else we can turn up. Well guys, I just found another one. Let's get a look at this guy. Another two-line salamander, look at that. That is sick. Again, I found the last one just down there. The creek is right here still. That is sick. These are actually really, really nice looking ones. Uh, and honestly, I haven't really found a ton of two-line salamanders by my house like this. Uh, so super cool to see these guys out on the road. These guys are so, so hard to get off the road. I keep having to use like a piece of paper to kind of like not scoop them up, but get them onto it to move them because they're so slippery when it's uh, wet like this, but super cool. So I'm not gonna really show it too closely, but right there is a DOR two line. So not great. That's the first DOR of the night. There's our skunk boro. Hey buddy. Guys, this really, 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 really sucks. So, I found a DOR right here, and unfortunately, it is actually a streamside salamander, which uh, is something I really had hoped to see alive tonight. Man, that sucks, dude. Well, guys, that is going to do it for tonight. I'd say this went pretty successful for my very first night of intentionally trying to road cruise salamanders, and I'm super excited to get back out. Later this week, we're gonna get tons of rain, hopefully and uh, hopefully we can get out some more times to look for salamanders. Obviously big targets, streamside salamander and marbled salamander is another big one too. That's basically the only ones that I can think of that I really have in my area to get, um, but uh, we'll see what we can do. But I'll see you guys uh, the next time I'm able to get out. All right guys, well we are out cruising for our second night of the week. We have again been getting a lot of rain, so hopefully uh, we can get a pretty good productive night. We're gonna get to it and see what we can turn up. All right, guys. Well, we've got our first salamander of the night. My brother's got the light here, so. Oh, it's right here, I can see him. Whoa. That is, what in the world? I, I guess that's a two-line salamander. Yeah, it's a two-line salamander, but he's super dark. Look at how dark he is. That is really interesting. Super cool, though. First salamander of the night. Uh, we're basically in the same area that we were in uh, a couple nights ago, but that is pretty cool. 
All right, buddy, we're gonna get you off the road a little bit. Go on. All right, buddy, into the grass. Super cool, first salamander of the night. We're gonna keep cruising and see what else we can find. All right, guys, I am out doing some flipping today. Uh, it's been about a week since you've seen me last after we got all that rain. Um, but I'm out today to hopefully get a couple salamander flips. It's actually super nice today, around like 65 for the high. So we may actually be able to come across a snake today. I'm just gonna get to flipping, do some rock flipping, make my way to the creek and uh, try to check some of my tin today as well. Yeah, I'll let you guys know what I can find. Snail. Hey. Zigzag salamander. There we go. First zigzag salamander of the year. I was pretty confident we were gonna find a couple of these guys today because uh, they are super common uh, this time of year, but pretty cool. It's actually a little guy. All right, buddy, back under your rock. Well, there is zigzag salamander number two for the day. Like I said, these guys are probably going to be super common today, especially flipping in this little uh, dried up creek bed here. Very cool. I'm going to get this guy back and we will probably find a few more of these guys today. Whoa, there's a big one, a big lead backed. Look at that. That is really cool. Come here, buddy. So hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. I don't know how good it's coming on camera, but just how variable these are, these guys are. Like the, the last two had a lot of, of, of bronze on their back and this guy has absolutely no bronze. And he's what, what we call a lead backed variant. All right, buddy, go back under your rock. Super cool. We do got some logs over here. Oh, dude. There's another one. Pretty cool though. I'm just gonna get this guy back. Go on, dude. There you go. Pretty cool though. That's number, what, number four? And watch, I'm probably gonna flip one right here. Oh, yep, there's two, a double flip. Look at that. One, two. All right, guys, come on, go back under your log. Awesome. There's one. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna let you right back. Go back under. Go, go, go. <laughs> yep, of course, there's another one. There we go. Another small one. Oh, there's one. Hey, buddy. Are you the only guy under here? Looks like it. Hey, dude. I'm gonna get you back under there. You guys can totally see how common these guys are. I mean, I've shown you probably like almost eight of them or something in the last like 10 minutes. Oh, there's one. Did I get him? I did, I did, I did. Come here, buddy. There we go, look at that. Little brown skink. All right, well there we, there we go. This is, I believe, my first lizard of the year. And it is a little brown skink, which uh, for the most part are really hard to get in hand because of how small they are and they're super fast. And of course you just jump. Oh yeah, guys, this is why you gotta be careful. Grabbing tin, it sliced right through my finger. Oh goodness, dude, that hurt. Some of you are probably wondering why I don't wear gloves if I know I'm gonna be around sharp tin. And the answer is, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, gloves are uncomfortable, they make your hands sweat, and I like to be in touch with nature. Guys, check this out, this is pretty sweet. So right there and there, you can see floating in the water there, is some form of Ambistoma salamander larva. My guess would be 
um, marbled, but I mean, it could be, it could be a uh, spotted too, which if it is spotted, it'd be pretty cool. Cause I've never found a spotted salamander here in Tennessee, but that is very, very cool. Look at that. Some baby mousers. Hey y'all. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, look at that. Come here, buddy. Look at that. A cute baby mouser. I don't know where the other one went. That is so cool. Go back with your brothers. Thank you for hanging out with me, dude. Go on. Bye, cutie. Bye, buddy. you guys saw that but when I pulled it away my hand got caught on that vine right there oh dude oh that hurt a lot yes yes let's go let's go dude let's go I'm gonna put this one too dude that is awesome there we have it guys my first streamside salamander of the year. First ambistoma of the year. We did find one DOR last week on the road, which was super uh, unfortunate because I had never cruised one. Um, but look at this guy, dude. This is a relatively like medium-sized one. They can get uh, quite a bit bigger than this, especially fatter, but look at that. That is so cool. These sal salamanders are... Super duper interesting. They have a pretty, pretty uh, small range. They really only live in these seasonal streams. They lay eggs underneath the rock. They're just such a cool salamander. And I just love finding these guys. All right, I'm going to let this guy back under his rock. Look at that. Go on, dude. Yes, let's go. No way. Oh my goodness, dude. No way. Let's go. All right, guys. So there we go with our second Ambistoma barbari or streamside salamander. And right here is some freshly laid eggs. You can see it's super interesting how these guys uh, lay their eggs. A lot of the Ambistoma salamanders will lay them in either clusters in a vernal pool like the spotted salamander or the marbled salamander actually lay them under logs and in little clusters and then when it floods they will hatch into the vernal pools but these guys are super unique um, in the way that they will flip upside down lay their eggs attached to the bottom of these flat rocks that's why it's so so hard to find them sometimes because you have to be in an environment where there's flat rocks, little to no fish, because fish will absolutely demolish these eggs. But such a super cool find, dude. This is one thing I was actually really hoping to find today. And uh, dude, I'm so excited. It is great to see that these guys are thriving, even in just, just little, little creek throw. There's barely any water in here and uh, these guys are taking advantage of it, but super duper cool. I'm gonna leave this mama to it and uh, we'll keep going. No way, no way. Oh my, oh my goodness, dude. No freaking way, dude. One of the biggest king snakes I've ever seen. And he's on the crawl in February, bro. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, I have to get an instant too. Dude, look at this guy. Look at this guy, dude. He's massive. Look at this snake, dude. Look at that guy. This is probably one of the best looking king snakes I found at this spot. Hey, he actually got my finger. 
That's surprising. Usually they go for the lens or something, but he's all springed up. Boom, there he goes. Alrighty. Look at this beauty. So we've actually, I've actually got some people coming up here, some girls. I'm gonna turn my GoPro on and see what they think about this guy. That's really cool that you found something that you really love and you know, you'll, you'll never work a day in your life. Well, thanks for sharing all the knowledge. No problem. Well, have a good day. You guys have a great one. All right, well, this guy has been absolutely great. This is like, this has made, made my month of February, bro. Well, I figure this guy is actually really enjoying the warmth of my hand, but buddy, you need to, uh, to get back to whatever you were doing. So I'm just going to let you right back where you were. Where are you going, buddy? Somewhere that way, I guess. This guy, he's just so big, dude. He's probably a good three and a half, four foot long. Here's one thing I like about the winter. You flip a rock. Oh, crap, there's a wasp nest. Well, good thing it's winter time. Here we go. Hey, cave salamander. Come on, flip, buddy. Come here, come here. There we go. Here's our fourth and final species of salamander for the day. All right, dude. I don't know how you want to go back under there, but... There he goes. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, the sun is headed down, and uh, I'm headed back to the car. We had a super successful day today. Got our first snake of the year, early February. Um, like I said, the earliest that I've ever found a snake. We got to lay out some more tin, and we also found a bunch of salamanders, including some streamside salamanders that uh, I was really, really hoping to find, and some egg clusters too. So yeah, dude, it's been a way better day than I could have expected. But guys, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we got some, some pretty insane stuff coming your way.